We will have two Tulsans leading the Sooner State as Matt Pinnell picks up the lieutenant governor's race. Uh, he took a strong lead early on and held it to the very end. The former state GOP chairman, a young leader at 38, and he won with 62% of the vote. Two works for your reporter Megan Allison is at Pinnell's watch party right now. And another political outsider here. What a celebration it has become at the Bricktown Events Center in Oklahoma City. Yeah, Brian and Karen, people here at the GOP party say that this partnership of Pinnell and Stitt is what they were expecting. The people in Oklahoma are looking to move in a new direction. Now, as Aaron said, the message that the two of them were giving out this evening is that they want to be a top 10 state. When I was speaking with Pinnell earlier today, he said he put about 100,000 miles on his truck during the campaigning process going across all 77 counties, and he was getting the message from people that they were sick of being on the bottom of the list from everything from road conditions to education. Now, the two of them were united in their message today that education is going to be a priority moving forward and that they want things to move in a new direction for this state. Of course, they're both uh, moving on their business background in these roles. They say that they want entrepreneurship and tourism to be key focuses for them moving forward. Now, we are looking to speak with Matt Pinnell in a few minutes here, so we'll continue to keep you updated. Reporting live here in Oklahoma City, Megan Allison, Two Works for You. Thank you, Megan. Now, it was a disappointing night for Pinnell's Democratic challenger, State Senator Anastasia Pittman. With ties to Tulsa and Oklahoma City, she really hoped to draw support from voters in both of Oklahoma's two largest cities. Well, Lorraine Callender joins us live from her watch party in OKC. And Lorraine, she didn't want to concede earlier. Well, yeah, Karen, you could tell that her supporters were disappointed when she made the announcement, but Pittman said confidently that she's not going anywhere. She held her head high talking at the podium, saying she is not done being a public servant in Oklahoma after spending 20 years in state government. Even though she said she's taking a break after this race to spend time with her family, she said some may see her inside a classroom in the future. I, for one, have classrooms in my district that don't have teachers at all. And so the truncation that students go through when they have a substitute teacher for 22 days, and then you have to pull that substitute teacher if you're not going to offer them a contract. Pittman talked about being proud to represent women of color here in the state, as well as the Democratic Party in a predominantly red state. And she said their fight does not end here. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, Lorraine Callender, Two Works for You.